So for today's video, me and Luna are gonna be telling you all about the baby products that you don't need. So if you'd like to hear what we have on our list, then just keep on watching. If you're a new mom like me, you definitely fell into the trap of buying a bunch of things that you don't need. So I'm gonna tell you about all of the things that I either purchased for myself or I put on my registry that I ended up not needing and that I returned or it's just sitting here in my room, well, in her room, just taking up space. All right, I put her down so I could start to show you all the items, but the first thing I'm gonna tell you about is mittens. Do yourself a favor, do not buy mittens whatsoever a lot of times mittens come as a set like as a part of an outfit so luckily i didn't actually buy any mittens i promise you mittens will not stay on your baby's hands and i know especially when they're newborns you're scared that they're going to scratch their face and it's gonna happen your baby is gonna scratch their face like when we were first in the hospital she was starting to like put her hands like on her face when she was sleeping and we tried to put mittens on her and they just completely fell off every single time even as she got bigger we thought maybe she was just too small and maybe her hands were too small and so we tried it as when she got a little bit bigger and still they would fall off so don't waste your time with mittens if you're concerned about your baby scratching their face what i would suggest is getting the footy pajamas that have the little fold over cuff so you can cover your baby's hand so these pajamas are from honest baby all of honest baby pajamas have the little cuff so you just go like that and then their hand is covered also the old navy footy, footy pajamas have the cuff as well you just have to pay attention to when you're buying the footy pajamas because not all of them have that cuff that go over it this is what your baby's gonna be in most of the time anyway is pajamas um, so just make Make sure they have the cuff to cover their hand so the next thing that you don't need which i definitely fell into this is shoes and i know they're just so cute they're so little you can't help it but to buy shoes to put it on with their little outfits but i promise you it's a waste of money she has three pairs of uggs she has a pair of jordans and she has two pairs of dunks I don't know for what they don't stay on i put shoes on her they fall off i've almost lost them um these are the only ones that i like because the velcro like stays like tight on her foot but the other ones i just i don't even bother but for now at five months socks and that's all she needs so that kind of leads me into my next topic which is clothes so obviously i don't mean like you don't need to buy your baby clothes when i say clothes i mean like fancy clothes like going out clothes and like fancy outfits so i bought a bunch of these cute outfits so this little sweater is from zara still has the tag on it this little dress is from baby gap still has the tag on it this is the only dress that she's worn this is also from zara so the only time she actually or that i actually dressed her up in like nice cute clothes is for the holidays so she was born like right before all the, all the holidays she had her first you know christmas thanksgiving all of that um and that was the only time that i really like dressed her up put the bow and the stockings and the shoes for like 10 minutes for a picture and even then um you know i had her in this cute dress for thanksgiving and then halfway through thanksgiving i changed her out of it and i put her in a thanksgiving pajama All right luna's back because she was getting a little bit fussy but most of the time your baby is going to be in these things like these footy zip up pajamas um i I like to consider myself a stylish person. Like I like getting dressed up, I like going out. So when I was pregnant, I was like buying her all the cutest clothes. I was thinking of all these outfits that I'm gonna put her in. And once she's here, like all I do is put her in these pajamas. Just the most comfortable thing for them and it's easier for you because you're gonna be changing them a lot. There's gonna be a lot of spit up and changing their diaper. So it's a lot easier to change them out of a pajama than you know, taking off the sweater and taking off the tights and the pants and this and that. Okay, next thing I don't even have to show you because I don't even purchase them anymore is pajamas with buttons. Pajamas with buttons are the devil. <laughs> like the last thing you want in the middle of the night when your baby is screaming, crying is to have to sit there and snap up and button every last button. Most of the time you're gonna do it uneven anyway, then you have to rip it open, start all over again. 
Don't even bother yourself with that. Instead, get pajamas with zippers. If you can get pajamas with the two-way zippers, that's even better, but pajamas with zippers are the way to go. Or if you wanna take it a step further, which I have a few of these for her, is pajamas with magnets. So these have magnets on both sides, and instead of zipping or buttoning up, you just kind of put it together and it automatically snaps closed. So the next thing on my list is a robe. And I know it's so cute, just the thought of having your baby in a robe when they get out of the bath, but it's just so not practical. Like I was scared to even bathe Luna at first. Like I didn't know how to give her a bath. Like she was just wet and slippery and I was just scared to pick her up because I thought she would slip out of my hands. So the last thing I was thinking about was putting her into a robe and getting her arms through when she's all wet and tying it up. Like just so unnecessary. Just get a hooded towel. Um, that's really all you need. The only thing I feel like this is cute for is pictures. I put this robe on my registry and I have not used it not one time. So don't bother with the robe. So the next thing on my list, I know a lot of people are probably gonna disagree with this because this product is really popular, but that is a boppy. So I put a boppy on my registry, someone bought it for me, and it was just sitting there for months, so I ended up returning it. The main reason why I got a boppy was to breastfeed. And I know there's a lot of other uses for a boppy, a lot of other ways you can use it with the baby. You could also use the boppy um, under the baby to prop them up for tummy time, or you can use it um, around them like on their back to help them with sitting up. I didn't use it for either of those things. So for me, it just kind of was a waste. I mainly wanted it to breastfeed so I could put it around me, have the baby laying on the boppy and so we can both be comfortable. But I didn't end up breastfeeding, which I think I'm gonna make a separate video about my experience with breastfeeding. Um, but breastfeeding just didn't work for me. So it just kind of didn't serve a purpose for me personally, but a lot of people love it, so I'm not gonna say don't get it. I'm just saying for me, like, it just didn't work out. So the next thing on my list is another thing that I'm gonna tell you you don't need it, but 100% if you are a new mom, you're gonna get it anyway. And that is a memory book. So I have two of them. I don't know why I bought two of them. I bought this one first. This one was from Amazon. And then I felt like this one just didn't have enough inside of it, like enough information for me to fill in. So I got this one and this one was really expensive. This one was from the Hallmark store, but obviously it's so cute, <laughs> but I don't use them. <laughs> obviously this is still in the box. Um, I filled out a little bit of this when she like first was born and she first came home from the hospital, but look, everything is like still in here. Um, I filled out, look, <laughs> just like the first page. I know this is like a classic baby item and you're gonna get it anyway. These things are not too pricey, so you're gonna get it anyway, but besides when they're like first born, like you're really not gonna like touch this. <laughs> Okay, next thing on my list is a million and one pacifiers. I don't know why I thought this baby needed so many pacifiers. On my registry, I put t like five, six, seven different pacifiers. I put different brands. I put Avent pacifiers. I put Dr. Brown's pacifiers, NUC pacifiers. I put so many pacifiers. Everybody bought me like all the pacifiers that I asked for and they literally just sit here. And for nothing, because she uses two, maybe three or four pacifiers the most, like we leave one in her diaper bag, we leave one in her bassinet, we leave one in the living room, but that's really it. Like the most we needed was like three or four, and I literally have probably like 15 pacifiers. So the next thing on my list that you don't need is a diaper bag. So obviously, yes, you need a diaper bag for your baby, but I highly, highly suggest a backpack rather than an actual like diaper bag, like crossbody diaper bag. So the first diaper bag that I got for Luna when I was still pregnant was this one. So I got this one used off of Poshmark. It's from Nuna. I really wanted this one because I have a Nuna stroller. I wanted to match and I just like that it's like black and it's very chic um, I use this as her hospital bag when we were coming home from the hospital and that's really the only time that I used it it is 
way too big for everyday use. Um, the only other time that I have used this is when we went to my mom's house and we stayed for like a weekend. So obviously I packed it with a lot of her stuff, but for everyday use, it's just really, really big. And also I don't like the crossbody feature. I like, it just gets in the way and I like to be hands-free more. So that's why I prefer a backpack over this one. So we have this now that we use as her backpack every day. <laughs> Yep, mm -hmm. so this is her backpack. This is by Toomey. This is technically not even a diaper bag. It's just a regular backpack. You don't need to get a Toomey bag. They are obviously very pricey, but just a backpack style in general is a lot easier because there's a lot of compartments in it and it's just a lot easier to be hands-free. So I'll just put this on my bag and then I'll be able to push the stroller or hold her. So a backpack is just way more convenient than like a crossbody bag. So the next thing on my list, which we do have it, it's in our kitchen and we do low key use this every day, but I know it's kind of unnecessary and that is a bottle sterilizer. So we have the Baby Brezza bottle sterilizer and it's pretty unnecessary. In reality, you can just wash your bottles, make sure you wash them really good and put them on a dryer to dry. Um, a sterilizer is just like an extra step. Um, so what I do is I wash the bottles, put them in the sterilizer, press the button, they sterilize and dry for 45 minutes and that's it. Like really I could just wash my bottles and that's it. Um, I also kind of like the sterilizer because it just is a place to keep all the bottles. Like I have a lot of bottles for her and they don't all fit on the drying rack that I have. So I also use a sterilizer just kind of like as a holder for her bottles. But in reality, we don't really need it. Just wash your bottles really good. Okay, so the next thing on my list that you don't need is one of these little nose suckers. So I know a lot of the time this comes in like the health aid, the little first aid kits for babies, but you really don't need it. I feel like this is kind of like old school and outdated. What you do definitely need is the Frida mom or Frida baby snot sucker. This works so good for getting your baby's mocos, your baby's boogers out. And I know it sounds gross, snot sucker, um, but it does not get into your mouth. The boogers do not get into your mouth at all, so you don't have to worry about that. So basically you put this in their little nostril, you use this to suck it up, and this gets the boogers out so well. Like I literally just used it on her, and there is so much gunk and boogers in here, it's crazy. So highly suggest this. I know it literally sounds gross. Like I, I in, didn't even want this because it sounded so nasty. And then what, it came in like one of those like Frida baby, Frida mom kits. And I took this out one day when she was like kind of congested and we used this and it was like, we have been using it nonstop ever since. And also it doesn't hurt the baby either. Like I thought at first it would like bother her or hurt her. She doesn't even cry when I do it. Honestly, like I literally just did it in her nose and she like laughed after I did it, I guess because she like now is like not congested and she can breathe better, but it definitely doesn't hurt the baby. Okay, so the last thing on my list that you don't need are swaddle blankets. In terms of swaddling, you don't need a blanket to swaddle your baby. So when Luna was first born, we had no idea how to swaddle. We would try all these different ways. We watched YouTube videos. We tried to learn in the hospital before we went home, but we just could not get a swaddle down pack. So what works much better are swaddles. Any swaddle that has like a Velcro or a zipper is gonna be way easier for you to use. We love the Halo swaddles. Um, we have so many of these. So this has a zipper and then it also has a Velcro. So you zipper them in and then you put their arms in and then you Velcro their arms down. I know it sounds like really constricting, but especially when they're first born, they like being so tight because they like to feel like they're still in the womb. Um, she's five months now, so she's too big to be swaddled. So we just use the swaddle and we leave her arms out. But these are so much easier than taking an actual blanket and swaddling your baby. Also, I feel like that's pretty like old school. So just get like a swaddle with Velcro or a zipper. The other one that we do have 
it's I think it's called the love to dream where it's like a zipper and like the arms are up like this because baby likes sleeping with their arms up um, those two are my favorites but just anything that has a velcro or a zipper and boom one two three and they're swaddled so that's pretty much it for this video that's everything i had on my list for products that you don't need but comment down below let me know what you would like to see more of and i will see you guys in the next video